Let's solve a really interesting problem from the American F is equal to MA exam. We have a car that is turning left along a circular track of radius R at a constant speed V. Inside the car we have a cylindrical beaker that is placed. The beaker has a small hole on its right side. If the water's highest point in the beaker is at a height h above the hull at what speed does the water escape and here is my drawing of this really interesting situation now the first thing to consider is what is happening to one little bit of the water imagine that i have a droplet let's say over here it's going to be experiencing two accelerations first of all there's going to be some centripetal acceleration which uh, is just going to be v squared over r so that's just the centripetal acceleration and that's going to be to the left because the car is turning to the left but also there's going to be an acceleration due to gravity which will be just vertically downwards and let's label this as g the resulting acceleration will be along this diagonal line and shall we just call that a total. Summarized in vector notation we can write that a total will have two components. We are going to have v squared over r i hat, i hat meaning that that's just in the x direction, plus g in the y direction which, which we can just call j hat. The sign here can vary depending which direction you choose to be positive and negative. Let's take this angle here to be theta and now let's do some simple trigonometry so let's take the cosine component so we know that cos theta is adjacent over the hypotenuse so that's going to be just g over the total acceleration meaning that g will just be equal to a t multiplied by cos theta. Similarly we can also say that v squared over r is the opposite component so this here will just be equal to a t sine of theta. Now one of the key components of this question is to imagine what will be happening to the height of the water in the vertical direction. Because the car is turning the surface of the water will also be at an angle theta to the vertical. In a way we can think of this line here as the effective height of the water. Should we just call this one h prime? Now applying some trig, cosine of theta will just be equal to the adjacent which is just h prime divided by the hypotenuse which is h meaning that the effective height of the water h prime will just be equal to h cosine theta. Now let's think about the pressure at a height h. This is typically given by the formula that pressure is equal to the density times g times h. However, in this case, the resultant acceleration will not be just g pointing straight downwards, but will now be the total acceleration and the height coordinate is determined by this equation, which is just h prime. Well, this is actually equal to the density a t will just be equal to g over cosine theta and h bar is given by h cosine theta. Luckily we can cancel those and we can get that once again our standard pressure is just equal to rho g h. But how could we determine the speed from the pressure? Well let's think about potential and kinetic energies. This is essentially Bernoulli's equation which uh, equates the potential and the kinetic energies dealing with the density rho. Now to get the speed of the fluid we need to use Bernoulli's equation which essentially just equates potential and kinetic energy. The potential energy is just given by rho g h, it's very similar to m g h, we can set that equal to a half times the density times the speed squared. Now because the car is turning at a speed v I'm going to use a different symbol so let's use u squared. We can do some cancelling out and what we're left with is that u will be equal to the square root of 2gh, meaning that the correct answer 
is A. If you enjoy hard problem solving, you absolutely need to have a look at this problem from the International Physics Olympiad on the expansion of the universe. And this video is just over here.